Okay, good day everyone. So this is the video lesson for our lesson number two, which is about evaluating functions. So we are going to use uh, your prerequisite knowledge about GEMDAS. Uh, GEMDAS stands for groupings, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, as well as the your knowledge about adding and subtracting, multiplying, and dividing polynomials. Okay, so let's proceed to different examples that I will provide. So please do listen and try to understand this lesson. So example number one. So if I have function of x is equal to 4x plus 2, solve for function of 4. So what we are going to do basically here is just to substitute 4 to every variable x on the given. Since the given is 4x plus 2, you're just going to substitute. So the solution for that is, so the solution is function of x is equal to 4x plus 2. And then function of 4 is equal to 4 times the quantity 4 plus 2. And then 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2. And then 16 plus 2 will give you 18. Okay. Uh, do not forget to box, to always box your final answer. So let's have example number 2. So for example number two, I have function of x is equal to 4x squared minus 3x minus 7, then solve for function of negative 2. Okay, so for the solution, so function of x is equal to 4x squared minus 3x minus 7, then the function of negative 2 is equal to 4. Again, you need to substitute negative 2 to every variable x here. So we have x here, so we're going to substitute negative 2 there. And do not forget the squared, minus 3 times negative 2 minus 7. Then let's evaluate. Uh, we are going to follow the GEMDAS rule. So we do have, we do not have groupings, but we do have exponent. So we do the exponent first, then we multiply. So like this, negative 2 squared is 4 times negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 minus 3 times negative 2 minus 7 is equal to, the, evaluate this, 4 times 4 is 16. And then negative 3 times negative 2, we need to include the sign here. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, then bring down negative 7. Then evaluate this, 16 plus 6 is 22. 22 minus 7 will give you 15. So function of negative 2 is equal to 15. Okay. So for the third example, let's have function of x is equal to 3 raised to 3a minus 2. Solve for function of 2. So the same process. So solution. So copy first the given function of x is equal to 3 raised to 3a minus 2. And then function of 2 is equal to 3 raised to 3 times. So there's the a there. Okay. So 2 minus 2 is equal to 3 raised to 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2. And then 3, 6 minus 2 is 4. 
So, function of 2 will give you, so 3 raised to 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, it goes like this, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 is 81. Okay, so example number four. So we have f of x, or function of x, is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Then we need to solve for function of 1.5. So the same process, copy first. The given function of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. And then substitute the value of 1.5 to every variable x. So 2 times 1.5 plus 1 all over 1.5 minus 1. And then is equal to, so we need to multiply first 2 and 1.5 and then add 1. So 2 times 1.5 will give you 3 plus 1 all over 1.5 minus 1 will give you 0 0.5 and then evaluate 3 plus 1 is 4 over 0 0.5. And then 4 divided by 0 0.5 will give you 8. So the function of 1.5 is 8. Okay. And so these are the first four examples. I will do prepare seven examples for you. So let's move on to uh, another three, last three examples. Okay, so for number five, <clears throat> so for number five, the given is function of x is equal to the square root of x plus four, then I need to solve for function of 32. So again, the function of 32, you just need to substitute whatever the number inside the parentheses here to every x or every variable x on the given. So that will give you square root of 32 plus 4. So that will give you function of 32 is equal to square root of 36 and 36 is a perfect square so function of 32 is equal to positive or negative 6 okay so for example number 6 we have function of x is equal to n cubed minus 5n squared. Then I need to solve for function of negative 4n. So again, uh, oh, by the way, it should be function of n. Yeah. So function of n is function of n is equal to n cubed minus 5n squared, then is equal to function of negative 4n is equal to negative 4n cubed minus 5 times negative 4n squared so as you can notice here no i substitute negative 4 n to n cubed that's why it become 
negative 4 and Q. And then I substitute negative 4 n to n squared. That's why it's negative 4 n squared. And this is the 5 there. Okay. So let's evaluate. So negative 4 cubed is so negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. And then 16 times negative 4 is 64. Yeah, negative 64. That will give you negative 64. And then n raised to 3 will give you n cubed minus 5 times. So we need to evaluate this first. So negative 4 n squared. So negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Then n raised to 2 is n squared. Then evaluate this again. So bring down negative 64 n cubed. And then distribute negative 5 to 16 n squared. When we say distribute, we need to multiply negative 5 to 16 n squared. So negative 5 times 16 will give you negative 80 n squared. So this is now your final answer. So function of negative 4 n. Okay, so for example, number seven, let's have function of x is equal to 3x minus 2, then solve for 2x plus 1, okay? So again, copy first a function of x equals 3x minus 2. And then substitute 2x plus 1 to every variable x. So function of 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 times 2x plus 1 minus 2. It's equal to, and then distribute positive 3 to 2x. That will give you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that will give you 6x. And then 3 times positive 1, that will give you 3. So again, we distribute, meaning we multiply. And then bring down negative 2. So we cannot add 6x and 3, no? Because, because uh, 6 here do have a variable, while on the other side, 3 and negative 2 do not have any variable by itself. So that's one of the rules in addition, subtraction of polynomials. So we cannot add or subtract uh, the similar terms. So 6x, we're going to bring it down, then evaluate positive 3 and negative 2. So that will give you positive 1. So this is now, so function of 2x plus 1, this is now your final answer. Okay, so that's it. <clears throat> okay, uh, evaluating functions is just like substituting the value of whatever variable is given, okay? So basically what you need to do in order for you to understand and to master this lesson is do a lot of practice. So I'm going to provide you worksheets, okay? So that's all for today. So we are able to discuss lesson number one and lesson number two at the same time. Uh, hopefully uh, you understand this. And then again, if you do have questions and clarifications, you are feel free to message me, to ask me right now. So again, thank you and God bless.